I was introduced to Memory Matters in 2016 when we moved here and we moved my mother-in-law here from Canada. And we knew she had dementia, but we didn't know really what we'd signed up for. And so someone told me about Memory Matters as a resource for people who were caring for people with dementia or Alzheimer's. and my husband and I needed all the help we could get um, because we didn't know how to care for her. So we started att attending support groups then to give us what I would call our toolkit, um, giving us tools for how to care for her and how to give her a good day and create the best possible environment for her and for us. And to make the time we had left with her, I'm sorry, I can get to bit emotional but to give us you know the, the best time possible with her many people when they think of memory care centers for organizations they they think of it in the traditional daycare setting thinking of nursing homes and where people would sit and maybe be entertained for the day um, but memory matters is so much more than that and yes, its origin is adult daycare. That's what we were licensed for. That was the, the name that was given to the organization to provide respite for caregivers. That is still the foundation of our mission. However, when you're there, you realize how much more it is than just a daycare center. The organization has progressed over the years along with the brain health research. Our five interventions are based on best practices in research in brain health, as well as our programs. You know, they are based on what we're seeing coming out in the research, new and inventive, um, and we're implementing those as soon as they come through. And the more we can find out about this disease uh, and how it progresses and what you might could do, the better it's going to be. So now we know so much more about the brain, that this is a progressive disease. And even though we can't cure it, um, there is good evidence and research that says that we can slow that progression. Our center is cutting edge. I tell people that all the time. We have kept up with science and we've kept up with best practices. And so what we've done is pride ourselves on being an expert in brain health. But we've barely scratched the surface. We still need to, to have people understand not only more about memory issues, but understand what memory matters can bring to people in various ways. We know so much. We're just at the tip of what we know. But I know that the people that are in our early memory loss program right now are sustaining their brains longer because of our program. Many times people come to us and say, oh my goodness, why didn't I come here two years ago, three years ago? So really it's wherever you are concerned about your brain health, if you have a family history of brain health issues or you just want to make sure you're as sharp as possible, that's the time to call Memory Matters. We have something to offer anyone over the age of 50, really, and even younger, because we, we now know that there's not a cure, but we know that there's lifestyle changes that can make the difference for a person for cognitive impairment. One of the things that I hate is when I hear people say, it's great to know you're there for us when I need you, but I don't need you. You do need us. You know, it's not just about uh, the person who is impacted, um, who is diagnosed with a disease, it's their entire family that we're caring for. Because if you are the husband or you're the wife of someone with memory issues, you're on 24-7. It gives me a respite, if you will. It's, it's, it's beautiful in that regard. They really understand when I say something. 
kids will not do. You know, they're going through the same thing or have gone through the same thing. And, and that really makes a huge difference. It's um, like they've got my back. Our staff has been there for a long time, and our staff is very committed to the mission. Um, what I learned over time was the deep level of commitment that the staff had to the families and participants. The staff is so awesome, I can't say enough about them. They really have a heart for what they are doing. Everybody is so helpful. Yes. The caregivers are just marvelous. We're so blessed to have them on our island and to have people working there who are so knowledgeable and so compassionate. Um, they almost become part of your family. Part of the call on our lives is to love each other. And love isn't just the sentimental, feel-good, romantic love. Love is sacrifice. Love is compassion. Love is drawing alongside of people who are hurting. Love is caring for people that don't have the means or ability to care for themselves. And that's one of the reasons we started this ministry. It's an expression of God's heart and God's hands and God's compassion for us that we're just an extension of. One of the things that, that, that really touched me was one time I was doing a uh, intake for, for a, uh, a lady who had uh, Alzheimer's and she was sit, we have the folks sit in the program and we work doing the paperwork with the family. And when we went out to get the lady, she said, I like it here, I don't have to pretend. So, so that's, a, that's a good moment. They create an environment there where folks are allowed to be themselves and there's nothing they can do that's called a failure. They call it the long goodbye, and it is, but you're giving them the best. And that's what we want for our loved ones, the best. Just that kind of sense of happiness. And she'd come home, you know, I knew her brain had been worked. I knew she'd socialized with people other than just the two of us. Um, and she was a much happier person the days that she went to Memory Matters. <laughs> and I think that's the thing that, that happens, you don't, you don't really realize how long you've been coming. You just know that it's an essential part of what you do. And I have to acknowledge that for many of these families and caregivers, not every moment is going to be joyful. But what we can offer people are some moments and time of joy and happiness and helping people to just live here in this moment because this is the only moment that we have. People come in and say, what's the end gonna be like? And I say, no, we're gonna live in the moment because the moment right now has, is full of joy if we're gonna find it, or we can find it. We can find those moments of joy. It almost brings tears to my eyes to just see the magic. That's the word that I can describe our program with. Magic is a good word because there's no one thing that did it for me. It was a series of little things. And so my goal walking into work every day is to help people feel better, to help them feel supported, to give them a lift, a sense of breath. Um, and so it's just a really joyous place to be. And we get to see that. We get to see the joy. We get to see the love and the care in that moment. And the stress is completely gone. So, and to be on a little island like this, and have memory matters, we are so lucky. They are a great group. I can't say enough about them. I think it's just a really beautiful program. We are very grateful to be a part of it. It has changed our lives.